I'm gonna just make try to make a really pretty, pretty, pretty little tiny vase. So I'm gonna stick this on here right on the clay from the other piece. And this is gonna be more subtractive sculpture. So I'm just gonna start taking clay away from it. Well, first we'll start out with a bulk sort of blob of shape of clay into a shape that we like. Then I'm gonna flatten it a little bit. It's okay, Mister. There we go. This is gonna be a quick one, guys. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take this, make an opening, just a small opening at the top. I'm not sure if you can see, but I'm gonna try for you to see because I'm not I'm not concerned about it being open all the way to the bottom, as I would if I was making a vase on a pottery wheel. I'm just concerned about the way it's gonna look on the outside. So I'm gonna make an indenture here. I think this is what these were made for, like sort of like lathe work. It's always interesting to me, like where the origin of tools, you know, with, Sometimes, what do they say? Uh, necessity is the mother of invention, that kind of thing. So I'm making this beautiful little vase that's gonna be fun to paint. That's what I'm really going for, is a surface to paint. Okay, we're gonna close this up a little bit. The choking method. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. All right, and then I'm gonna take another tool, that same stick tool down here and take this away at the bottom. Good, get it down, get it down. Let it a little water, because this is air dry clay, so once it dries, you can actually take a small sponge or, or a wet paper towel and smooth out any roughness. But you can do that with regular clay that you're gonna fire as well. Okay, then I'm just gonna take another tool I think this ball, this little ball tool, and go in here like this. Just get this a little bit more pronounced. Good. And then I'm going to flatten it with this. Ooh, nice. Here's what's funny, it's an optical illusion. Kids always are sort of shocked by this, but everything looks real, looks very smooth and good when it's moving. <laughs> but then as soon as you stop it, it doesn't look so smooth and nice. See, when you stop it, you can see more of the imperfections. So that's fine though. That's beautiful, I love it. Love it. So this little vase, I will cut off and we will have fun painting that too. So one of the things I'm known for is like very, I do, I put a lot of detail in my painting. So I will paint this a lot. It will be super painted. It will be detailed. There'll be polka dots. There'll be stripes. There'll be flowers, whatever. It'll be very detailed.